What could we do with this, I wonder? <gasps> no way! That was awesome. Dang. You remember this salmon? That all these girls caught? We caught like a million salmon? Check this out. Look at this, the salmon master. The salmon master. Is turning my poorly filleted salmon into sushi magic. Get some salt and pepper. Now I'm gonna just mix uh, like mayo, green onion. Yeah, for sure. Make like a little little mixture. It'll be like a little spicy salmon. I got some mayo and we'll throw some sriracha in there as well. Oh, let's do a lemon too. Ooh, seedless, nice. All right, we'll just let this cool down, leave it off to the side, and we'll work on uh, cutting the rest of the vegetables. I think the title of this video, Taku, is like, can a, can a professional sushi chef salvage an amateur filleted salmon? <laughs> From this angle, it looks good. Awesome, he can fix it. I can fix it. I knew you were the man. We like sushi, but don't know how to make sushi, so we called in a favor. And brought in the professionals. He flew me in from California. Oh yeah, twice. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh yeah, we never did that. Take the bones out? No. Nope. You just eat the bones usually? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, we're learning so much. <laughs> well, if you're cooking it, it's like it, you might as well leave the bones in because it's much easier to take them out when it's cooked. Normally we pull those out with the Leatherman. I see you have a fancy tweezers. When it's like super, super fresh, like it's so hard to take out the bones. Oh, really? But once it's been frozen like and then thawed out, it's much easier. So I never use the middle section for sushi, so it's a bit hard. Pieces there. And do this one too. And now I'm just taking the scales off because there's a little bit of the scales. So would that be like the sign of an amateur filleter that they left all sorts of scales all over it? <laughs> See, that's what we try to avoid, right? Like when you scale it, like people yeah. ask, people always ask, like, why do you scale it if you're gonna take the skin off anyways? You know, if we end up with scales um, on the on the fish, on the board, on the knife, ends up in the sushi. Yeah, you'd get fired for that, right? Mm -hmm, pretty much. So how many times have I been fired already <laughs> from, like, because I had scales, so I'm fired. Yeah. Oh, you pin, gotta get hired the, first. The pin bones. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say I, like, bought my way into a sushi chef job. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because as a YouTuber, like, we're loaded, right? Like, just so much money. It's too much. Just, it's too, <laughs> it's, it's too much. Yeah, like, what am I gonna do with all of Yeah. Them? <laughs> so I buy myself a sushi job, and I get yeah. fired with the scales. Yeah. And I got fired by leaving the pin bones in. And I already got fired for cutting the belly off, because that was actually the best part. Okay, so that's three. But you're still salvaging it. Like, you're still doing the job here. Oh, yeah. We're still going to get yeah, awesome still, sushi. As long as there's meat left, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> All right, this one, I'm going to just cut it for, so we can put it inside the roll. These other ones, we're gonna use it for nigiri and sashimi. So, I'm gonna slice these a little bit more, a little differently. But now I'm gonna cut them as if we're gonna make nigiri with them. And we will. So, the difference between nigiri and sushi is a little ball of rice underneath it, right? Yeah, so nigiri and nigiri is sushi. Or and sashimi, but, sorry. Sashimi, yeah, right. yeah. Yeah, exactly. Just so they're identical, down. except you did cut them differently. I did cut them a little differently. Huh. So because the nigiri has to be able to form to the rice. And oh, okay. Then, and then the sashimi really has to just, just kind of has to stand. So sashimi doesn't really matter um, as much how you cut it. Okay. Yeah. As long as it's kind of cut around the same size. That's why uh, towards the end, I kind of switched the angle of my knife just to compensate for it getting narrower. Yeah. Yeah. So like this one, it's really narrow here, but it's wide at the end here. So I'm going to start very angled. And, and as I go down, I'm going to change my angle and go a little bit straighter. And by the end, 
it'll seamlessly kind of switch to cutting very straight. So all of that, all of these pieces should be about this, about the same size. First piece with the last piece should be right about the awesome. same size. All right, we got plenty of salmon. I'm gonna need some help making the rolls. Julia. Yeah, come on, you're like come the sushi on, queen. Make sure you cook. Rice casserole, my favorite. <laughs> you can try to put it on top of the roll. That'd be cool. So this is one way of taking the, the peel off. Just use a spoon. We can do it like that. Nice. The sound of a sharp knife is so satisfying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The way to mm. make thin slices with an avocado, use the tip of the knife and it doesn't stick to the knife. Mm. So you can make real nice thin slices. One broke. <sighs> Problem solved. Yeah. <laughs> See what? This is what this is what we do. That's how you cover up your we and just eat the evidence. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. Now nobody knows. Oh. Oh. So I'm going to show you guys how to make one, and then you guys take it from there, okay? All right, Jeff? We got this. All right. Yeah. Perfect. One piece of seaweed. You always use half pieces. Okay. Yeah. Well, we didn't know that. No. Wet your hands a bit. Not too wet, but just uh, wet enough so the rice doesn't stick to your hand too much and we'll get a nice uh about a baseball size of uh rice i'm gonna place the rice on top go across all the way down and then we're just gonna bring this rice i'm gonna roll it down so it covers the entire piece of seaweed just like that and the next thing we can do multiple things here or a couple different things. Uh, we have the green onions, we can sprinkle that on there. I have some sesame seeds in the van, we can sprinkle that on there. Or we have these avocados too that we can top it with. Uh, so depending on whatever you choose, I'm going to do the green onions first. Sprinkle some of that on here. Because this is going to be the outside of the roll. I'm doing the inside out rolls. Mm, that's my favorite. It's like the most common one you see, right? In the in the in the, in the West. That's probably why it's the, my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and then I'm just gonna take take it. I kind of just wipe one time just to get the board clean a bit. And we fill the back side of it. Now I have this piece of salmon so that doesn't reach all the way so I'd have a couple more little scrap pieces that you could put on there. Maybe I'll put some surprise jalapenos in there. Just bring, bring it over and then roll it over again. This piece of strand wrap. Cut it in half. Cut it in half again. And cut it in half one more time. Oh, one more time. So we should have eight pieces. There we go. And then we'll wow. fill that board. All right, who wants to help me? <laughs> You're kind of missing yeah. a bit. Larry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, here we go. That's good. I'm going to put... Let us know on. whose you think is better. Because <laughs> what I see is like rice Perfect. with seeds on it right now. Rice with seeds. Right. I'll just bring it over. Rice with seeds. Oh yeah, so good, so good. You're doing great, Julia. The saran wrap like takes away all those sins. Oh yeah. Looks good. Go ahead and slice it. Yeah, there you go. Nice. She's got tacos. Nice. nice. <laughs> Natural. <laughs> Natural. Oh yeah. I like the motion. That good slicing. Oh, perfect. Wow. <laughs> I know, I'm always telling Jocelyn, slice, don't crush. It's always crushing. <laughs> I'm like, don't crush. <laughs> you did, yeah. That looks amazing. Wow. That kind of looks like that caterpillar that Kez had the other day. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> that is actually a name of the roll, caterpillar roll. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right, eh? Girls, this is like a feast just growing in front of us. Kezia, are you making sushi? Christina, don't listen to him. You can do it. 
<laughs> You'll be fine. Christina caught a 30 pound spring salmon Ooh. in June. And now she's gonna make an amazing sushi roll. That already looks really nice. Way nicer than Julia's. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, it looks worse. <laughs> <laughs> what you can do too is like, you can take like little ones like this. Oh, just test them. Just like that. Is that allowed? Was that like a big no no? <laughs> not allowed. Fired Am I allowed again. to? <laughs> Fired five times! Oh man. Wow, it just seems all so simple at this point, right? This is like a game. Yeah. This isn't even hard anymore. This is, oh, once the rice is made, yeah. and the salmon filleted, <laughs> it's just child's play. Actually, there's children playing and making sushi rolls. Are you up next? Maybe, if she lets me. Okay. She I'm just not me. sure if we should let you use the knife at the end. Oh, come Maybe. On. It's Typical off-grid uh, yeah. snack. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Right on top. You were entrusted right. with the last of the avocado. There you go. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And you did it. You did it. You did it. Wow, delicious. Girls, have we ever eaten anything so fancy? No. I don't think so. The poutine the other night was pretty fancy. Well, I mean, yeah, poutine is great, but I don't know about fancy. It doesn't. Yeah. Could you have imagined this? Do it. Eat it all. All the raw stuff first. <laughs> Come on, ladies. Okay, how is it? Mm. <laughs> Look, Kezia right. jumping right in. Is it good? Mm -hmm. yeah. I didn't even notice there was mm. rasta in there. I know. Well, well which no. ones are which here? Okay, this one's got the cream the, cheese. Mm. We'll tell you after, Rose. Cheese. Just eat it, and then... And you can't even tell there's salmon in it. Except you can feel a little bit of texture. <laughs> 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 well, what do you think, girls? Very good. Awesome. I told Jeff that I wouldn't eat raw salmon except for if he made it. <laughs> <laughs> like, if he right. makes it, I'm sure it'll be good. Mm. Okay, dig in. Dig in. Okay, oh. look, Rose. Yes. Look what we do. I don't know. That one's Come like on. scary I'll do it. I'll do for me. It. I'll do it with you. You're gonna Rose, do it with me. If you ever try it, now is the time to try it. Yep, that guy, you did guy. a great job of making everyone the same size. I was looking for a small one. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You ate it. You ate it? You were supposed to eat that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you didn't eat that one, did you? <laughs> Rose, you grew that jalapeno. I know, that's why I'm trying. In your own greenhouse. Hot. It's, it's spicy. <laughs> mm -hmm. They're real, real jalapenos. Yeah, Holy. they are. Wow. <laughs> that was a thick slice, too. <laughs> What's this sauce on here? Uh, it's called Okonomi sauce. Mm -hmm. It's for um, Okonomiyaki, which is a type of Jap Japanese dish. It's what's like, like a, the core of this? Like, what's the root ingredient? It's like or a Worcestershire kind of sauce. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's very flavorful. So pretty. It's got all sorts of fancy stuff on there. It's so flavorful. You gotta Is that? Try it. Yeah. Just you can just grab it with your hands. Taku said it was fine. <laughs> he said it was fine. Yeah. He gave me permission to just eat with my okay. fingers. Okay. Really? Because that's how we normally eat, right? Yeah. We're just. All the time. Yeah. We're off grid. Like we don't use forks and stuff. <laughs> I can't believe you just ate that. I'm so I'm so proud of you. I can't believe I ate it. I'm <laughs> yeah. Rose, you deserve like a big reward. Okay. And I will personally make sure you get your reward. What do you think about raw wow. salmon? Yep. What do you think? Do you want me to be totally honest? Is it okay. This one's a bit much for me right now, mm -hmm. but uh, <laughs> <laughs> but these other ones were quite nice. What about you, girls? Have you guys tried it, or do you want to get grounded? <laughs> I tried it. <laughs> it's Good excellent. Job. It's amazing. We're going to like just destroy this. Yeah.